Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am out she outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and this is our out of the theater reaction for Venom The Last Dance. And it's just been awesome. I had a fun time following this movie with you guys, as always, like we did with the previous movies. We got to see an early screening, and we had a great time. We got our popcorn bucket, we got our drink, you know, our cup, we got the whole bundle thing. Uh, and originally we weren't gonna do that, but I figured, screw it, just put on the credit card, let's just do it, and just make a blast out of this and have fun. And so there wasn't like a big, you know, audience reaction sometimes I kind of feed off of that when I see a movie opening weekend we will probably get that tomorrow night when we see it in 3d and then we're also gonna see it in IMAX this weekend so this is just round one of at least three rounds if not more um, and I know blue wants to see it so we'll try to squeeze that in at some point for him as well um, you know so I I really did enjoy this movie I would say if I was rating it I would probably you know rate just my initial reaction without giving it a number yet I would say I did like it more than let there be carnage but I didn't like it as much as the first one. And I would say, I'm so I'm kind of probably in the ballpark of that. I did, I think, give the first movie a rating of like eight maybe, or seven and a half or eight. And then the second one, I think I gave around a seven to seven and a half. So a little bit of a step down. So this is somewhere in the middle. So let's say if, uh, you know, maybe I will get an, a, a number and say if the first one was an eight and the second one was a seven, this one's a 7.5 to me. Um, I did really like the story. I thought it was paced pretty well. And uh, although it does go from like serious science military stuff straight over to comedy, you know, a comedy road trip movie with Eddie and Venom, but I did kind of like that contrast and balance too. And I think they did a good job of going back and forth. Uh, I don't want to get into spoilers. The third act has a lot of crazy stuff in it. We will definitely talk about in our spoiler discussion, uh, but just initial reactions. I had fun. Keep an ear out. One of the soldiers has a name that you might recognize if you're a comic book fan and something happens to them that's very similar to a character in the comic books. So keep an ear out for, you know, a soldier that gets injured at some point, though they might say their name and you might hear it. So uh, keep an ear out for that. Uh, there was some rumors that we were hearing about character names that were right and some that were wrong. And, uh, and then there was some that were just like, I don't even know who they really were <laughs> actually. Um, but there was uh, one of the big ones was Chewie's character. I know there was a lot of rumors of who he might be playing and I had found out not too long ago who he was actually playing so I'm glad I sat on that because I think that'll be a nice surprise for for some of you out there who were guessing so maybe a, a, a slight hint spoiler there I won't tell you it, you know give you more than that but it's some some of the rumors that were out there of who he was playing um, were not true so uh, that's cool though that was a you know, I'm sure that'll be a nice surprise for some people um, it would have been for me if I didn't already find that out uh, unfortunately uh, but for the rest of it though you know, I had a fun time and there were some surprise in there, even for me, because I actually this time did detach a little bit and tried to tell people who have told me stuff in the past to kind of not do that this time around. And, uh, and I was glad because I had a really good time just kind of going, well, what will happen? What is going to happen? Uh, there's a big story moment that I have an issue with, uh, particularly with the post credit scene. There are two. So make sure you stay till the end. I was really happy to see some of the credits. Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman, Len Kaminsky, um, Todd McFarlane. Like there was a lot of, and David Michelini, obviously. Like there was a lot of cool people they gave credit to. Patrick Zercher, people who worked on some of the stories that influenced this movie. So, and some of their artwork and stuff that influenced this movie. And the look of it was great. I think Wagner did a great job with uh, DPing this movie. It looked really sharp. Kelly did a great job directing. Again, pacing was really fun. Um, there was great moments in it. They kept the humor with Venom and the symbiote, you know, or Venom and Eddie, I guess, uh, the, the two of them, the symbiote and the human. They kept the humor there, uh, but there was also like um, some, you know, heartfelt moments. I saw some people saying that they got really hurt, you know, like emotionally and that they kind of teared up a little bit. I didn't go that far with it, although I did find some of the moments that I think they're referring to to be very sweet, and uh, and 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 I think they nailed the the emotion right. I just uh, was surprised. I cry pretty easily at things, um, but I was surprised I didn't uh, this time around with some of the stuff they had in this. But it was still good, and I, I really did like some of the quieter moments as well as some of the big action moments and the fight scenes, which were really awesome. And you could kind of clearly see what was going on, uh, but the stakes were really high in this one, and uh, and I, I like that. That. but there's still a moment story-wise that I, I I just have a big issue with and I'll get into that in my spoiler review so for that especially that did knock it down a few points this could have been probably a little bit better than the other movies to me 
probably would have been the best one if it wasn't for this kind of big story moment that the movie kind of hinges on um, and then still does the thing anyway. <laughs> so, so for me, I'll get into that in the spoilers. But for now, really fun, really good time. Definitely go see it. I think you'll have a blast. Um, and if you're there for action, you'll get that. If you're there for, you know, some, some of the quieter moments, some of the humor, you'll get that too. And, uh, you know, editing wise, I think this was a little bit more clear cut. There's definitely some ADR and stuff they added in to kind of clear up probably a few things. Um, but, uh, but you know, there was a couple characters that I wanted to see more out of, and I felt like they kind of turned out to be a, a little useless. And then there was that big story moment. So those are my only negatives. The rest of it though, I had a, a blast. And like I said, I would probably stick this somewhere so far, at least between the first movie and the second movie, as far as my ratings on it. And so for that, I mean, I, you know, I was glad I saw it. I'm glad to see it coming up again. We're gonna watch it again, see if I miss any details. But I think I caught a lot in this one, in this viewing, um, because it was a quiet theater. So I was able to hear things and not have to, you know, uh, uh, try to make out what they were saying due to you know people's reaction stuff so that was good you know because i think to, uh, tomorrow night when we see it again i don't think we're gonna get that we're gonna uh, you know i'll have trouble hearing lines and then when we see it in imax you know on a saturday that's gonna be fun too so yeah i'm excited i can't wait to talk about this more with you guys so let me know your just out of the theater reactions when you see it in the comments below save the spoilers we're gonna have those videos drop in probably in a week from now i want to give more people time to see it before we dive into that stuff so uh you know so please Please, if you can, in the comments, avoid spoilers, and we'll get into those very, very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.